Jenna and Jesse Tufts bought a 1950s semi-bungalow in Edmonton's Westmount neighborhood. They loved the location and the tree-lined streets, but it was poorly insulated and in need of renovation. They had a choice. Buy a new home in the suburbs, tear down the old home and rebuild, or renovate their existing home for their growing family. The decision was made when they learned they could expand their existing home and take it to net zero for less cost. Changing for climate. Upstairs, it was really hot in the summer. In the winter, below minus 20, the walls would have frost. Uh, we had instances where the blankets would freeze against between the bed and the wall. And then our south side uh, shingles would, were disintegrating, so who knows when it would, the roof would start leaking. We knew we needed to do something uh, before the roof started leaking. And because of how cold the upstairs was, we knew we wanted to upgrade the insulation for sure. Instead of tearing down the house and removing the old trees, they began a major renovation using the existing foundation. So we did a full second story addition on our story and a half house. So we kept the original main floor and foundation. We basically cut off the original roof and walls right at the uh, second floor level and built a full new second story on the original footprint. They also wanted to do a deep energy retrofit. Well, to us, it was a way to improve the efficiency of our home so we could generate enough electricity to heat and power the house with the use of our solar panels and without the use of the natural gas. To do this, Jesse and Jenna knew they needed much more insulation, better air tightness, and better windows. So we started by uh, stripping the old siding off basically right down to the original sheeting and we wrapped the whole house in a vapor permeable air barrier so we we cut the air leakage by a huge factor and that made a big difference um, so the original 2x4 wall is about this represented by about this section here that has our 14 rock salt in uh, most locations and then to that we added three layers of door cutout foam and this is reclaimed insulation from the door manufacturing industry. And each layer has about an R10 insulation value. So we've added about R30 of polyurethane foam insulation on the outside of the original house. And to that, then we installed rain screen and hardy board siding. They tripled the home's insulation from R14 to about R44 and sealed all of the leaks. This reduced the energy required to heat the home by 70%, allowing them to replace the furnace with an energy efficient electric air source heat pump. So this is the outdoor unit of the heat pump. Um, this is what provides the heat for our home. It's a three ton Fujitsu air source heat pump and uh, it extracts the heat from the air even at minus 20 and uh, sort of upgrades it and allows us to use 100% uh, renewable energy to heat our home. Tightly sealed homes need mechanical ventilation to provide plenty of fresh air. Very important part, this is our heat recovery ventilator. It recovers about 80 to 85% of the energy from our exhaust air, provides us with fresh air uh, in the most efficient way possible. Uh, this is our drain water heat recovery. So this extracts heat out of the showers, uh, the drain water coming down, which would normally just be wasted heat, and helps to preheat the water going into our hot water tank. So this is an air source heat pump hot water tank. It actually uses the heat from the basement uh, to run it through a heat pump to heat the hot water using only electricity, but much more efficiently than a straight electric heater. These efficiency measures allowed the Tufts to eliminate natural gas and generate all the energy they need right on the home. So this is our 12 kilowatt solar array. Uh, this is sized to provide 100% of the energy needs of our home for heat and electricity. And it actually produces enough energy to cover our new electric car. And the best part about it is our electricity bills are completely zero. Jesse and Jenna took their time designing their renovation and are very happy with the results. The expensive parts for this project were the second story addition. It was the roof deck, it was the veranda we added on, the steel siding, uh, the steel roofing, and the hardy board siding. So that was the expensive part. The additional insulation, the, the heat pump, the efficiency part of it 
was maybe 15% of the overall budget. If we're putting this kind of money into the home, we wanted fire resistant finishes, uh, we wanted the home to, to last a long time and uh, be durable and resilient in terms of uh, you know, more extreme weather that we're seeing lately. Changing for climate. To learn more about the supports available to help kickstart your home retrofit journey, visit homes.changeforclimate.ca.